So, Jamie, I don't know if you've heard, but Election Day is tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I said decent uh, forecast for tomorrow, and that's probably a about right, I guess. The, there is a chance for some rain, but not, not a washout tomorrow. Yeah, definitely not a washout. Nothing to keep people at home. I mean, we're not going to be fighting wind. We're not going to be fighting severe weather. We're not going to be fighting snow. And it's not going to be cold. I mean, you know, temperatures today were uh, noticeably cooler than yesterday. Yesterday we had 73. Today, mid 60s. But uh, still, that's a little bit above normal for this time of year. That's the kind of weather that we're going to find. I think tomorrow as well. Beautiful sunset right now, by the way. Temperatures at this hour, 62 degrees. Light winds out of the east at 8 miles per hour. Here's a look at what's going on. Uh, again, we uh, ended yesterday with sunshine. We uh, started today with cloud cover. In fact, we had a lot of cloud cover throughout the day. You can see showers and thunderstorms also down to the south near the Dallas area. What's going on is the front that snuck across the area yesterday evening stalled to our south across southern Arkansas, and moisture is trying to move up over the top of it. So that's been generating some cloud cover over the area, and I think as that moisture returns, and then we have a little system that's currently in uh, New Mexico, a little, little rain trigger, that's going to move across the area on Tuesday. So can't rule out the possibility of a few uh, spotty showers. It looks like the threat for that here in the Springfield area probably peaks out at around late morning to early afternoon. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, it looks like the focus will tend to be off to the west for shower activity, and then that will track off to the northeast. Uh, looks like areas west of, say, a Monette to uh, Versailles line probably has the best shot at showers, but we could see a little bit of shower activity further east as well. I, I think the cloudier part of the day is probably going to be the first half of the day, once we get to about 2, 3 o'clock here in Springfield, I do think the clouds will try to break up somewhat, and we should see some sunshine. So temperatures are going to be mild again, at least for November, mild again tomorrow afternoon. We start the day off at about 52. Uh, I do want to talk about this before we talk about that Election Day forecast. Again, big goings on in the, uh, in, in the world of astronomy tonight. We've got a total lunar eclipse. The problem for us is... With so much cloud cover, it may be really tough to enjoy it. Also, the timing of it makes it a little tough to enjoy it. It starts a little after 3 o'clock. That's when the partial eclipse begin. Uh, totality a little after 4 o'clock. Then we wrap things up tomorrow morning at 649. Uh, the next total lunar eclipse in our area won't be until March of 2025. So if you enjoy seeing those things, uh, get out tonight after midnight and take that in. Hopefully there'll be some breaks in the clouds. We'll be able to enjoy at least some of it. Our election day forecast starting off at 7 o'clock, 53 degrees, cloudy skies. Again, I think late morning, early afternoon. In that little window there, there will be a chance for a shower here in the Springfield area. We'll be up to about 61 at that point. So jacket weather for the morning hours. You might need an umbrella, but you're not going to need it all day. And then we, once we get to about 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I do expect some breaks in the clouds up to about 68 and then back down to 61. Uh, I do expect dry weather as we're wrapping up the day, but we're still going to have, I think, partly to mostly cloudy skies at 7 o'clock. Looks like a high tomorrow of about 68 here in Springfield. Things get a lot better on Wednesday. If you like warm weather in November, uh, looks like afternoon highs in the mid to upper 70s, uh, maybe a spot or two hitting 80. Winds will be breezy out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Same story on Thursday. And it will be warm again. I mean, this time of the year, average highs are around 60. Uh, we're looking at a high of about 77 degrees. It all comes to an end, though, after Thursday. Cold weather's coming. Uh, looks like highs only in the 40s. Friday, Veterans Day, that will be a cold and breezy day. Cold, especially after the warmth that we've been enjoying. And then through the weekend, yeah, winter trying to settle in. And it looks like this is going to be an extended cold snap across the area. Steve? All right, Jamie, thank you. Today.